Let's read this question before us. Two boxes each contain four stones that differ only in color. Box one contains four black stones. Box two contains two black stones and two white stones. A box is chosen randomly and one stone is drawn randomly from it. Each box is equally likely to be chosen as is each stone. What is what is the probability that the what is the probability that the randomly drawn stone is black? Okay, so the first thing you have to do when you're approached with these type of questions is actually figure out, uh, you know, what technique should we use here? Should I use a probability table or should I use a tree diagram? And right here, you're going to use a tree diagram because you've got like these sequential events happening. The first thing that you're doing is you're either selecting box one or you're selecting box two, and you know that these are equally likely. So box a box is uh, equally likely to be chosen. So that means that's a half and that's a half. And then from each box, you're then selecting a stone from it. So for instance, if you've got box one, what's the probability of you getting a black stone? Or what's the probability of you getting a white stone? Well, you've been told that there are four black stones in box one, and that's all there are. So that means there's a 100% probability that you're getting a black stone out, but there's a 0% probability that you're going to get a white stone because there are no white stones in box one. Then for box two, you've been told that there are two black stones and two white stones. So that means there is a 50% chance that you're going to get a black one, and there is a 50% chance you're going to get a white one. And now it's saying, what's the probability that the randomly drawn stone is black? So that means what we want to consider is we want to consider this, and we also want to consider that. So that means I'm going to go, what is a half times one? Well, that's one. And over here, I'm going to go, what's a half times a half? That's going to be, oh, sorry, a half times one is a half. My apologies, people. Um, and a half times a half is one on four. And then once you've done that, you simply go, therefore, a half plus one on four is going to be three quarters. And that's going to be your answer. So don't be like me, don't make stu stupid mistakes. A half times one is a one. What was I thinking? All right, there we go. Three quarters. We then move on to our next one. It is known, so sorry, it is not known from which box the stone has been drawn. Given that the stone that is drawn is black, what is the probability that it was drawn from box one? Okay, so we've got a given question here. So that means we're dealing with conditional probability. And we're told that it's given that the stone being drawn out is black. What's the probability that it was drawn from box one. So what's the probability that it's box one given that it's black? So one given black. We know that this is going to be the probability of one intersection of B over the probability of B. Now it's really important when you're doing these questions that you kind of take note of what you've already figured out or what they've already told you. And here we're, we've got the probability of pulling out a black stone. Well, we've already figured out the probability of pulling a black stone, haven't we? This here, was the probability of pulling out a black stone. So we know that our denominator here is going to be three on four. So that means if I was to rewrite this, I could say, you know, I don't know what this is yet, but I know that it's being divided by three on four. That we know. And now if I want to figure out what the probability of one intersection of B is, I'm going to come back up to this one. I might highlight this in green. I'm trying to figure out this. Well, what's that going to be? The probability of one intersection of B. Well, that's going to be this one right here. So the probability of one intersection of B, that means you've got box one and you're pulling out a black. So that's going to be a half. So it means I'm going to come here. I'll try to keep the colors consistent here, people. That's going to be that. That will be green. When we come down is equal to, now this is where we use our trusty stay, change, flip. Stay, change, flip. And then we can cancel this down a little bit. That will become one, that will be two. That means my answer will be, wait for it, two on three. That is our answer. Now this was a uh, year 12 question. Uh, but as you can see, very much accessible to us at year 11. This is definitely a question that we should uh, expect you to be able to do. Nothing too tricky here, just making sure that you can think through everything clearly. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.